Um, what are the key learnings on B2B growth? That's a really good question. Um, B2B growth can get tricky because you can go a lot of different routes with your product. You, um, I, I don't know what stage you're in, but the biggest misconception I see is people like build a solution and then they go to try to find the market for it. And what you want to do in B2B growth is you want to identify like a really specific market and then find out what problem they have and then fit your solution in to solve that problem. And if you do that really well and the problem you're solving is important enough, the company will pay you significant amounts of money for it. And the second key learning for that piece is you don't want to price for how much it costs you to build the product or solve the problem. You want to price for how big of a problem you're solving. So if it's something that would cost the company $100,000 or a million dollars, you can charge probably 10% of that, maybe more if it's an important enough problem. Um, and so you always wanna see, hey, what would happen if I didn't solve this problem to the company? And you wanna price accordingly. And that will stop you from underpricing, which is like something that's really, really common in B2B startups. We're like, oh, if I make it cheaper, it's probably better, but that's not necessarily true. 